Hello friends, welcome to my next video tutorial of multi-store display structure analysis and design in Instant Pro version BI type. And in this particular video tutorial series, I am going to show you how to do a complete structure analysis and design of a multi-store steel structure. In this drawing here, you can see this is the plan and here is a tentative elevation here. So I am going to show you a complete structural design and analysis of this project using Instant Pro program step by step. And in this first video tutorial, you will see an introduction of start pro program and also learn how to do 3d model of this type of building so to start this video open this start pro program and when you have opened you will see this type of window here there is some recent file with which you have recently worked and there is the project access and also all help topics and there is a license and configuration and almost all the code are selected from here and if you have installed this first time and you will see all this code are unchecked so you have to check from here first and you will see nothing here if you have installed this first time and going to here configuration from this project text you can see lots of information here the first one is base unit you can see this is metric and when you have installed this program there will be an option of metric or english unit so if you have selected metric unit then by default it will be in metric and if you have selected the english unit and by default now it will be in english so you can change from here going to start while going to start modeling and from here you can see some other orientation which is the global orient profile a global axis orientation which is by default y up you can change that to z up but i don't recommend to change this you can just keep as it is and going to here background color you can see two available color here one is white background another one is black background if you wish you can change from here so these two options uh, so these are the options from here you can change after changing click here apply then accept and next go to backup manager from here the project access and from here you can change the auto save interval and there is auto enable auto save is checked if you check this one and if you input a value here it will frequently ask to save the model as per the time you have in inputted here so here is by default five minute interval is selected you can change from here and even you can just uh, disable this by unchecking this one if you don't want to show the message of auto saving and uh, this sometimes might be a disturbing feature so if you think you can just uh, disable from here and after changing here you click here ok and now go to click here this icon new project and here by default meter and kilo newton is selected because I have selected the meter uh, metric unit while install this program check this space next yes and add beam is checked now click finish now you can see this is the interface of start pro version bi time the first one is the title bar uh, the project name is displayed here if you have saved this the name will be appeared here you can see here structure one is a by default name here and the next is the menu bar all the menu are available here going to different menu you can access to various command and also all these are the tools available which is the shortcut tool you can use from here and at the left side you can see there are also lots of features available and right side also there are some additional window you can see which the first one is the snap node beam and just close this one and here you can see structure one and node one x y z is available and going to my drawing i'm just starting from here by drawing this column first so click this first chamber write zero then click just below that and you can see a black dot has been drawn which is to call node and to select any node you can see a lots of cursor available first one is the node cursor to select any node you have to pick this node cursor to select any vertical and horizontal member or any type of member diagonal member you have to pick this one beam cursor next one is the plate cursor to select plate you have to use this one and also there are other three type of cursor available but usually we use this first three frequently so take this first one node cursor select this one and here you can see this is the axis and i want to go to z direction as per my 
drawing this is my second column i want to draw at 7.385 as per my this drawing select this one hold down the control key from the keyboard press c and keep holding the control key press v now it will uh, allow you to paste the node at a specific distance here so i want to do along z put here value 7.38 then ok now you can see the other node has been drawn there are now two nodes now select this new one again press ctrl c ctrl v and i have the same spacing for the next column c8 ok go to the drawing see the next one is 3.55 select the last one ctrl c ctrl v this is 3.55 okay so this four column position as per my this vertical direction along grid line a has been drawn here just select all this node by dragging your mouse this way go to here geometry click here connect beam along then this is along z and okay now you can see by taking beam cursor from here you can select all these three beams so three beam has been drawn here okay now go to the drawing now i have one two three four five six bay at a distance of 5.18 meter now select everything using beam cursor click here this icon transitional repeat from here i am going to here along x axis select here this is x the number of spacing 1 2 3 4 5 6 this is 6 and distance is 5.18 click here link steps ok done 1 2 3 4 5 6 ok now so we have finalized the position of each column so this node point is my column position take beam cursor select everything this way go to here in any view now same way click here transitional repeat i have to go to along y right now so y and i have here if i see my elevation i have 3.3 meter for each floor so i am going 3.3 meter then click here link step ok and delete all the bottom beam ok now if you click here this display whole structure now you can see a 3d model already created with the column position column and just the beam connected through the column no sub beam has been drawn as per my this plan okay now it is asking for save just click here yes save as save this model as per your convenience location in your hard drive write a name here save okay now go to here i have a blue color which are my sub beams and the sub beam is at a distance 1.477 meters so i have one two three four five go to here select this one and also say this one and see this one this one click here insert node add node and i have total four okay now double click on any segment you can see 1.47 so the distance is 1.47 okay close so the same way by select, uh, selecting all these beam you can do the same thing okay done and also here i have only one along this 3.55 mm so select all this just add midpoint okay and now go to here on any plan this is my plan view and take node cursor select all this node this way here and go to here isometric view now go to geometry then connect beam along x axis okay now you can see all the sub beam has been drawn take this beam cursor and here i have a stair opening here so in this third bay this beam will be deleted delete okay done and now i have to draw for bracing here you can see i have vertical bracing here so to draw vertical bracing take this beam cursor from here by clicking this point and this point this point and this point you can just simply 
draw the bracing I have here in this bay this point this point here here and I have also here be careful while drawing that or by going to have top view by selecting this way right click new view okay go to here this isometric view and from here in this view you can also draw if you have any here this way this way so without drawing in 3d you can also take any elevation then you can draw one by one so go to here display whole structure now you can see we have drawn everything here column beam sub beam and also the bracing so this way you can complete any kind of 3d model using this program so thanks for watching my this video and see you in the next video